guys, it's a Stahir's Day, and I'll be doing like um, an Airstream vlog. Um, today we're actually picking up um, our Airstream, so yeah, let's get on to the video. Yeah, this, this is the hose that's stored in there, right? Yes, yes sir. Okay. That's the hose that you store right in there. But it didn't, so okay. you're going to hook it up, the teeth are going to grab it, it's going to have the same teeth like this. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do is, you're going to pull your black first, okay? And then pull your gray. But what you're going to do before that is, you're already going to have a hose plugged into this guy, but once you start, once you open this guy, then open this, you're going to turn the water in here. And what this does is, it, it, it. it sprays your black tank to keep it clean, oh, and nice also way. it keeps the sensors clean, so you get an accurate level reading. Yeah. Okay? Awesome. Um, what's the purpose of me having to pull two different ones? So this is this is your kitchen, this is your kitchen water, your shower water, anything that's not the toilet. That's what this the is. Gray. The black is the, the Just toilet. the toilet. This, this is, is just the toilet. This is just the crap water. So you gotcha. want to put, you want to pull the black first? Pull the black first, and then what you do, you pull the gray after, because the gray is going to come through and also assist in cleaning out the black. I see. Yeah, but just know the gray water, it does smell too, because all the all the food and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Best thing to do when you guys are camping, throw all the, if you're going to throw away food, throw it outside. Try not to put it in the drain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Just sure, throw it in the garbage sure. can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you get to the Sierras, put it in the bear box. You yeah, know, you yeah. don't want to get near it. <laughs> so, yeah, but this light's really bright when you're outside, which really helps, okay? So, like I said, so first thing, once you get your hose hooked up, black, gray, turn the water on here, okay? Pull, pull, then turn on the water yeah. on. Yeah, and then even once this is done, and you go inside and you see it at like 12%, that's because the water right here is hitting the sensors, let it run for like five minutes after. Five minutes how you, after? How do you yeah. turn it on? So, you just take this off right here, just like this one. Just, remember, just keep these two separate, okay? Just to make sure, you know, keep these two separate. So, you're going to pl plug it straight in like that okay you're gonna leave it and then black gray and then if you have one of those on off switches right here just use that but if yeah. not go to the water spigot and just turn it on okay oh and so let, you would attach this to the yeah, when we're water faucet yeah, well, yeah when we're flushing this honey the water needs to be here to, to flush yeah. it out yeah okay, it, it has it. a spray nozzle it sprays all around the black tank and then this is just the city water yeah that's yeah, the city just water to yeah. go inside incoming yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So when you get the thousand trails as well, they're gonna have obviously a um, TV cable, right? They're gonna have a TV cable that comes off the box outside. You're gonna plug that directly in here, okay? okay. And uh, that will give you guys cable TV inside. Whatever channels they have, you'll get those channels. Okay. And you'll go, you'll just set the TV to cable, and you get all the channels that you guys need from from the campsite. All right. And I also believe you, if you have like a Direct TV or dish or satellite like that. You can hook it up to this guy and put it right on the floor and have a floor, like, you know, a little dish. If you guys lived in it or something like that. Yeah. If you had a direct TV or something like that, yeah. you just plug it straight into that guy. And then you get all your channels inside. Okay? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice little feature. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions over here at all? I think we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. And so this right here is your smart plug. This is brand new. This so, is a smart plug. Yeah, so, so. Is this ours? Yeah, this is you. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, it's okay. This is you guys right here. This is all yours. So, these guys right here, literally, just for a little connection like that, yeah. they're like 300 sorry, bucks. Man. So, the old ones, these, the whole, the whole, like, the whole, like, 15 foot, 25 foot cord uh -huh. used to be like 100 bucks. Now, these are like $600. They're very efficient. So, I mean, and they're already your guys. You, it's not like an extra pay. It comes with the trailer. Gotcha. But it's a really cool upgrade. They just came out with these this year. You know, it's very simple. Just plug it, pull it, same thing. Okay? And what does that do? It's just power. It's power. It's so, power. this is your air conditioning, your outlets. Um, basically, it, it supplies the 110 power. So, like I said, your air conditioning, all your outlets, pretty much anything that's not 12 volt is going to be ran through this guy right here. Okay. Mm, and that's where you plug it into um, yeah, the so campsite. When right? you guys get to the campsite, you're going to have a direct 30 amp plug in. It's going to look like this guy right here. At the end of your cord, it just looks like this right here. You're going to plug it straight in, straight mm -hmm. into the box when you guys get there, okay? I see. And you guys are good to go. You're and then that connects over to that. Yeah, so the end of your cord looks just like this one. So they'll have a box outside that fits this exact cord. You won't need an adapter. So you just plug it straight in. But mm -hmm. you guys are also going to want to get adapters like this too. When you're at home or for like emergencies if you only have a 15 oh, amp yeah, outlet. Yeah, yeah. So these are 15 right here and then you guys have a 30. And then the bigger trailers are a 50 amp. They have, they have big old prongs on them, four of them. But this is a 30 amp. You guys have a 30 amp, okay? 30 amp. But this one's yeah. not ours, right? No, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I'll, I'll ask inside. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'll ask them inside. But see how that's what the 50 amp looks like. Okay. So what you guys are going to want to do, because sometimes there's 50 amp boxes, 
Sometimes you're gonna wanna get the opposite. You're gonna wanna get a 50 male to a 30 female. So you can plug that into it. Cause sometimes you're only gonna have 50 amp options at some parks. Okay. But most parks do have 30 and 50. So I need a I need to get an like, adapter kit. Huh? Yeah, it's not an emergency. It's not an emergency type thing. Cause okay. I believe call call um call what's it thousand trails ahead of time. Just make sure you guys have 30 amp. We did, we did. Oh, I, they do have 30? I, I chose it. Yeah. Good. So they do have 30. Okay. So this is 30 and this is 15. Yeah. Uh, so this is 15 right here and this is 30 right here. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, just think that's the end of your court, and yeah, this yeah, is 15. Yeah. 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 Gotcha, gotcha. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, you guys feel pretty comfortable out here? Yeah. To everything on your unit, okay? To all your tanks, your battery voltage, everything, okay? Okay. So first, let's start with the battery. We're plugged in right now. So your battery's at 13.7 volts. That's good. That's good. That's how much the converter puts out, okay? Now, if we unplug it, since you have solar, you're gonna be at about 13 volts, which is great. A fully charged battery, 12 volt battery is 12.7 volts. Okay. So you guys don't really need to worry about the battery until you see it drop below like 12.1, 12.0. That's when you're gonna be like, oh, okay, let's plug it into the truck. But you yeah. got solar, so it should help maintain it, okay? okay? Your fresh water tank, you're full, okay? So when you're filling it up though, you wanna double tap it until you see that little dot right there. Because if we just do it one time, watch. If we just do it one time, it's only there for about five seconds and it will go away. It will turn off on its own. So so if you go like this, it will stay on the entire time so you can see it filling oh, up. Like he'll oh. be filling up outside and you'll stand right here, open the window and say, you're good, you know. Yeah, and I gotcha. Same with gray. So gray, we're at 0%. So you'll you'll see it start climbing as much as you use it, okay? And gray is faucet. Gray, gray is faucet. anything that's not the toilet, yeah. Yeah, graze anything that's not the toilet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that, wait, there's, were there two um, holes outside for the gray and, and fresh? Uh, uh, oh, the fresh is what? The city water? Um, Fresh is if you don't have that water spigot that we we're talking about, like your city water connection. Oh, I see. Like right here, watch. Like right here. So, like I said, we're not hooked up to any water, right? You have full water pressure, though. This is straight coming from your water pump right there. Which is the fresh. Yeah, that's yeah. Because that thing that you said, if he wants us to empty it out before yeah, he filled it in, or leave it, that's the hundred percent one. Yeah, that's your extra. The twenty-six gallons. Yeah, twenty-six gallons. You got it. Yeah. So that's your extra reserve water, okay? So then also here you got your black. See how much your toilet's holding. You hit it again. Oh, but... I see. And that goes to hundred percent, of course. Yeah. Right? Okay. And okay. then the black cool. and the gray is just the the yeah. toilet, gray. and then the kitchen. Black is strictly how filled it. How yeah. filled it toilet. is. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Yeah. And gray is. He's everything got else it. okay yep you got, got it. it so there's really just four yeah so battery this is none to do water that's just your battery voltage you got to turn that off Boom and you want to be like above 12. yeah you always want to be above 12 okay, okay. your solar is going to help you guys maintain that voltage as well okay all right so first thing let's turn on the ac because it's a little hot in here <laughs> So you guys can open that up you get your oximeter this way I'm saying I've got three selections, so like when you're cooking and stuff, it really starts pumping. Uh, cool. Yeah, basically an exhaust fan. Just yep. like sucks everything yep. out of here. Instead of the microwave yeah. exhaust fan that we have at home, this is your exhaust fan, basically. And I believe it turns off when you close it, even if it's on. Let me see. Yep. See, so even if you guys want to just leave this on and just pop it open, it yeah. turns off on its own. It turns right back on. The sensor turns over and it turns right back on. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want. Yeah. And then if you don't want it on at all and just have some fresh air flowing, you're good to go. So you just go through, see so you're getting 18.5 volts. That's incredible from your solar. That's incredible. That's a, that's a good amount of voltage. It's keeping those batteries nice and maintained. That's kilowatts. And so that absorbed, that means your batteries are full. Okay. That's 5.3 amp draw, which is great. That's what you want. It's like, think of our phone chargers. They all have like the amp draw, like some say 2.1 yeah. or five watts or five amps. That's what this guy is right there. That's okay. what it's charging to your guys' batteries, okay? So 13.7 volt, that's what your house battery, that's what your house is just like that. It will basically show the same, the same, okay? Gotcha. And then back to 75 watts. That's just showing you how you guys are doing. So at nighttime, when you go through this, if you want to check it out, it'll drop a little bit because they don't have sun. But the thing is, those panels will hold power through the night, at least yeah. from the sun during the day, and they'll keep charging your batteries even when there is no sun out. And it still works when it's cloudy, obviously. So, um, do you guys have any questions on these two right here at all? No, I'm good. You good? Yep, Comfortable yep. with it? Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Um, so, obviously, so we're plugged in, so your outlets would work, okay? Um, 
Yeah, your outlets will work. You know, you wanna you wanna uh, open up the, these guys for you. They're kind of stiff too. Just be aware of that. They're kind of stiff. And then you also have buttons right here for them. You pop these off. You don't really need to, but you just you know, if you want to pull it rope. Are these? Um, you, can you wash these? Um, you can't really take them off, but I mean, you can get like a scrub or something. Yeah. You know. You yeah, want to be careful because like they're flat yeah, because they're not really true white. So I mean, yeah. I'm not sure bleach. Bleach may stain it pink. I'm not sure. Just be careful with that, you know. But definitely, you take a rag to uh, it. These are only uh, working if I'm power uh, plugged in. Right? Yes, yes. So they're only working if you're plugged in. So okay. what's 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 what um what, what works what works, what works with that? when I'm not plugged in? Okay. What's so, what electric in here? So works? so one thing is your water pump will work. Uh -huh. Okay, your water pump will work. Okay. Your furnace will work, which is over here. Yeah, you guys are gonna want to check this guy out. Your furnace will work right here because this is 12 volt too, so you'll still get heat when you have it. Okay. You just go ahead and turn that guy on, and it's gonna kick over. This is what blows that extremely hot air on the outside. Yeah. Here you guys. Uh -huh. Oh, so the furnace will work. Yeah. yeah. Furnace, will work. furnace works on 12 volt. Um, so this is all things that work on 12 volt. Your furnace, uh, your furnace works. Your water heater works. Your refrigerator works. Um, your stove tops will work. Basically, almost everything works except your air conditioner, your microwave, and your outlets. The only one outlet I believe that works is the TV outlet. When it's, so if you have an inverter, I believe that runs to your TV. Uh, so you can run. So you, if you wanted to, you could like take it out, plug your phone in, or air dryer, or something like that. And, uh, and the stove does not work in propane. Uh, so the, the stove is propane. Oh, okay. So one thing I want you to do when you when you do turn on your propane for the first time outside, yeah, is come here and turn it on right here. Because what it's gonna do, see see how it's not lit all the way? Yeah. It's blowing out all the air. And also, see how it's all, it's coming now? Yeah. See, there you go, now it's full. So first thing you wanna do is come here and turn on your propane. That's gonna cycle your propane the quickest around, so your furnace will get the adequate amount, your water heater will get the adequate amount. Very simple, it's just like a barbecue at home. See? And the propane's always on, right? You can turn it off if you want. Yeah, You yeah. can turn it off if you want, but we have it on right now just for you guys. Just show you like the water heater and all that. So when you're dry camping, yes. it's just the what's not working again? The outlets, so the air, AC. Yeah, AC, microwave, and outlets don't work. Okay, okay. so everything else works. Yeah, when okay. you're plugged in, everything else works. Okay. So you guys feel comfortable here? Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Obviously, you got your microwave. Just like at home. So now we'll get, we'll do the hot water. I'll show you guys how to do the hot water. You want to check this out right here real quick? Yeah. This is your this your um. This is your control panel for your hot water. So, so you could set it, I believe, to 124 degrees. Okay, so this is your main on and off. Remember we're outside when you told me you could turn on and off outside? Like you yeah. have at home all your 110. This is like all your 12 volt, like your car, right here. And it will give you a diagram of everything. So like, be your bed ceiling fan, your bath lights are hooked up to this guy. Yeah, so at the bottom, it's open, so you have an extra outlet down there. Spare, spare, so these two are spares. This is going to be your LP detector, which is that guy right there. So if someone accidentally turns on the stove with no heat, with no flame going, that thing's going to go crazy telling me like... Which one? Th this right there. This one? Yeah, so if the propane for some reason is left on right here, uh -huh. that thing's going to go crazy and you're going to know like, uh-oh. Oh, so it's just gas. Yeah, it's a, it's a warning for everyone basically. Yeah. Like, hey, you got gas leak somewhere, you know, so you want to come check the stove first, okay? Okay. Yeah, so these are all your fuses for all your 12 volt items. And it's a good thing, so everything right here listed works without being plugged in. So that's a good way to look at it too. Okay. So if for some reason your outlet's ever trip, that's this guy right here, okay? So all you gotta do, you'll see it break and just pop it straight back out and you'll get your outlet. Your outlets will turn on like we would at home, okay? Yeah, and right here, so your first one's gonna be your, or first one's your main, which controls everything that's 110. So if you want everything to turn off, you shut that off. The second one, this is gonna be your air conditioner. So if for some reason the air conditioner trips, you just come right here, reset it, turn it on. And just know if it does ever trip, like your air conditioner, turn everything off first before you turn this on. Because okay. mm -hmm. it will, you know, it will keep tripping it because all the it draws a lot of amperage. Yeah, yeah, first. all at one time. Yeah. And what happens a lot too is if you guys are plugged into the 15 app, like like the outlets we have at home, like the outlets are there in here. If you try to run your microwave and your air conditioner at the same time, it most likely is gonna trip because it takes a lot of amperage. Got so it. if you are plugged into 15 amps, try to run one of them at one of them at each of its own time, you know? 
like you're trying to heat like something. When you're, that's when you're driving. Yeah, exactly. Right? Um, no, that no. that's when you're plugged in, but you don't have like the 30 amp direct. You just have a 15 amp outlet, like over there, like for a hair dryer. Oh, that's right, because these things don't run without. Yeah. Dry but, anyway. Yeah, correct. So just make sure, just know like if you are plugged into a, a lower amp, like a lower amp outlet, you want to run only one at a time. So and off is easy. Just pop it off. Okay. You know. So when it, when you turn it off. That's like when you're storing it. So okay. it's gonna save all your battery power and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um the nice thing is if you do turn it off, your solar is hardwired to the battery, so it will keep charging your batteries okay. without any of your voltage getting distributed to the house, basically. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so it's a really nice feature to have. Oh, some trailers don't even have them, so you gotta like unhook the battery on your own. So it's really nice to have. So just know if you're storing it, you're not plugged in, you're not using it for uh, you're not using it in general, like at home, even for a week. Go and you're not plugged in anything. Turn it off. You know. Okay. It'll keep your battery voltage up and up and going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. All right. So you see how the truck's coming up with it? Yeah. So you're good about right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah, I got it. Can you get him in there for me, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, what's that? The other step. Oh, you just fold it back. Hold it back and then you attach it to those things. Yeah, I got it. You, got it? you guys got it? There you go. Alright, so now so now we'll do this. You gotta go high. You gotta go up high? Yeah. yeah. yeah you wanna so what you have to tight. You yeah. can use the tool, but uh -huh. if you go high enough, you don't need the tool. You don't need the tool. So let's so go, you just go here. Let's go, let's go a little higher. There you go. So you see how now it's leveling out with your L bracket? Yeah. Alright, perfect. So we'll go right there. Oh, see if you, if you don't have to use it too. So, so, on this side, that's because the angle. Boom. You guys are in. And then, oh, there you go. There you go. And then, how do you lock it in? Is that locked in already? Yeah, it's got that locking. It's got the locking mechanism right turn there. It, turn that one like this. There you go. Like, so, it's going to yep. go like this, boss. You go like this, slide that oh, in and there. Then, and then, then, then. Latches onto the yep. bottom. Okay, got it. Like this? Yes. There it is. That's Boom. it. And then you guys are good to go. So now watch this. Let's bring it down now, right? Let's bring it down. Watch how your trailer doesn't sink at all. Now. Do we have a do they have a carabiner and all that too? So okay. And a pin. So you see how it's not sinking at all now? Yeah. That's so that's what that's what your sway control does. That's what that pin. Yeah, it's it's holding straight up on a snap. Oh, and it doesn't sink with the truck. And then you're just pulling that over. Yep, we're going to bring up. this guy all the way out. Oh. So you guys are about one sec, like two minutes away from about to being on the road and having an RV trailer. Can you stay in the back here with us? Huh? Can we just put you inside here too? <laughs> just say, keep you guys definitely come with it, right? <laughs> Just a little extra knowledge for you. So right there, see, so you don't really need to take off the foot. The foot, look, see how high you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. good right there. But the foot does come off if I needed it to. Yeah, right? yeah, you got the little pin right there to take uh, it off. I might as well just keep it on. Yeah, so this guy right here, just go ahead, wrap it around there. And then, oh yeah, take this guy out, okay? You're not always gonna leave that in there. Yeah. What is that anyway? So this is what your seven-way plug connects to. This is it. This the is power. what's gonna like pow, uh, top off the batteries while yep. we're, we're driving. So now, if you guys turn, so for your guys's uh, backup camera to work, we need you guys to turn on your clearance lights, your your headlights. Oh. And it's gonna turn on all the lights and it's gonna power the backup camera. Okay. So just know the backup camera. All your lights have to be on. Like your headlights need to be on for the backup camera. So to turn work. on the headlights. Yeah. Okay. And you'll see all the lights will light up on the trailer as well. happening today today we are picking up our airstream this is 19 cv bambi and we're now hitched up and ready to go easy come easy go i'll be fine just take it slow we did okay yeah it doesn't feel like holy crap this feels, feels okay feels, feels crazy like uh not gonna make it but not holy crap yet but okay. pretty good oh oh what oh 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 how how
how are you feeling? Are you a little bit, you're okay? I'm feeling a lot of input. Like, I think the steering wheel wants to do some stuff. And then I feel like, I'm looking at the wood, the side mirrors, and it looks like I'm barely fitting in the lane, so it looks like people are scared of me when they come near me. Like, look at this. Look at the look. Look at the mirror here. Like, like yeah, I'm, you're like, on look at it. the sides. Yeah. I'm like on, on it, right? So people mm -hmm. would, like be scared. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, if I go more on this side, 